So we're at the Douglas, Wyoming KOA campground. Douglas is about central Wyoming. Uh, it's about an hour from Casper, and then you take I-25 on down south to Denver, Colorado. So just kind of give you a little geography there. But I'm just going to walk around and give you a little overview of the park, show you the campsites, uh, just show you where you pull in at, so all that good stuff. Okay, so we just set up our camper and pulled out the slide and we were looking at it and we just barely, I mean, I don't think you could get any closer than that, than to basically, I mean, that was like. Like just inches. So. Uh, make sure that when you come into the campsite you double check that because we we didn't know we just pulled in put out the slide and we were like oh everything's good and then we started looking at it and it's like ooh. so yeah so definitely make sure you check your slides when you pull into the campsite because uh, you might have obstructions so when you pull into the Douglas campground here uh, you just pull right this is it's kind of outside of Douglas a little bit but you, you pull in um, on this road here and this is what it'll look like you'll come in and you'll take a left right into the campground here and uh, welcome to the KOA so what I like about it um, just like some of the other ones we've stayed at I've been blessed to actually have is this pull-in area here when you go to check in so it's really big um, lots of room um, but as you pull in I was I was kind of surprised I, I mean I didn't know what to think with the you know, little Douglas, Wyoming, but their KOA was really nice. Um, right when you pull in, you'll walk in to the, uh, I guess, the welcome center uh, right there. And then over to the right as you pull in, they've got this nice little green pasture area. Um, they've got mini golf over here and then they also have a statue of the famous jackalope um, if you don't know what it is it's these rabbits that hop around here in Douglas and they got antlers on them so I'll take a little bit more of a picture of that so what was really nice about it is the little playground for the kids. It kind of surprised me, but the kids loved it. And here's the main office that you go into. The restrooms. Good morning. You got laundry and showers and all that good stuff here as well. They give you a code to actually get into the laundry and showers and restrooms too. Um, but back here, you can see all the work they've done to this. It's really nice. Uh, over here is their pool. And the mini golf. And right back here is a nice little sitting area. Some playground equipment. What's kind of cool is, you know, stagecoaches are such a big thing, especially in Wyoming, you know, with our history and the West, Phil. But they've actually tried to make this into more of like a Western kind of flair, I guess. Um, but there's a little stagecoach kids can play on with a slide. So that's kind of cool. And then over here, um, they got a nice little playground. And so I just always kind of take the word of our son who brought a little friend and they said it was awesome. So 
that was a good sign. Over here, some horseshoe pits. And then they've got a basketball slash tennis court. I don't know if a lot of people play tennis on it. But um, there's a basketball hoop over here. So that's kind of neat. So if you like to play ba basketball, bring your basketball. So there's actually, you're kind of surrounded by campsites. Um, there's their cabins over there. And a bunch of campsites here. And this is the back of the customer service center or check-in area. And some more campgrounds over here. And I'm just walking around the back here of the customer service area, just gonna give you an idea of when you pull in. It's kind of funny. I like doing these videos at campgrounds where people walk around and they look at you like, what are you doing? So here's, here's another shot from the other side um, when you pull in in the customer service center right there. You got this cool little, they call it a coffee cabin where they serve gourmet coffees off to the side of the customer service area here. And you can see the they got big, big roads to drive down. Um, they have a propane tank here to fill your propanes. Um, RV sites to the left when you pull in. Cabins and tanning to the left, and you can also go to the right for the cabins that I showed you. And here's their big pull-in roads. What was really kind of cool is uh, they upgraded our campsite. We didn't have to request it, so that was nice of them. I'll show you here. I was really impressed with all the room they had. Um, they've got little dumpsters set up everywhere. So if you guys watched one of my previous videos, you don't have to walk. You know, it seems like to another town to go dump your garbage, so that makes it a lot easier. But what's neat is they've, they've really tried to make use of the trees. They, they've, you know, they've built these nice little green pastures next to these front campsites here. So if you're going to come, and you can, try to request one of these front ones, like A1 or B1, I think they're called, the ones in the front here. And because uh, they got the little picnic table there, which is really nice. And then as you pull in, we came in from the left here. And we pulled in the left right there into our pull through. So everything fit really well in there. Wasn't too cramped. Um, they told us just to park our truck back behind the campsite. But you know, we had a lot of room. Everything worked out. So I was real happy about that. So here's kind of the back of our camper. And then right over here in front. And they actually just right across from our camper here, they have this little community area where you can, you know, sit and have a barbecue. Oh, it looks like a griddle there. And a barbecue pit with some marshmallows in there. And you got a grill right over there. So, little trails around. Um, if you go to their website, you'll actually see they got this little meeting area over there where families can get together and all meet in one place, I guess, if you're all camping here. So it's kind of cool. Uh, a little pass to that. There's a I-25 over there that leads into Douglas. You can see the cars traveling there, but you know, I didn't really hear the vehicles. Um, so that was nice. So everything, everything seemed really quiet last night. So they do have Wi-Fi here, um, which worked. Um, it was, you know, if you got an Apple TV or something like that, you're not going to be able to use it because it has secondary login. But that was okay. You know, we had our iPads. Everything worked 
perfectly. So really impressed with their Wi-Fi. Um, no issues there. But uh, would I recommend this little campground? Absolutely. So if you need a place to stay, owners are really super nice. And what I like about KOAs is they're always they're always cleaning at these places, so that's pretty cool. I mean, everyone's always cleaning, so it's I like that. But you know, you know, what's always cool about RVing or camping is just getting to spend time with the family, and that's that's what matters. And just uh, if you haven't ever RVed before, it's kind of cool. I mean, I know not everyone's this way, but it seems like every time we're going somewhere, people are always ready to help, talk, you know, stand there and talk to you. I mean, it's just everyone's everyone in this kind of community or the RV world is just really cool. So I highly recommend if you've got a camper and you're passing through Wyoming, try out a place like this, prior, you know, rather than going to a hotel. So here's a little bit of an overview of the Douglas KOA. Hope you liked it. Make sure you hit subscribe and like the video or leave a comment. Mm -hmm.